Right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to attack mixed number questions on a year six paper. They're really nothing to worry about. It's just a question of getting used to the techniques and remembering what to do. Uh, key points, um, addition and subtraction. Remember that fractions are things of particular size and you can only add things that are the same size or subtract. So uh, if you've got addition and subtraction, make the denominators the same because the denominator literally denominates or shows us the size. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. All right, so uh, follow along. Um, I have, uh, hopefully you've got the answers and uh, here come the first few simple examples. Let's get stuck in. Okay, question one. One third plus one quarter. Remember, you can't add things with different denominators because the denominator denominates the size. So we're looking for the lowest common multiple of three and four, which is 12. So I need to convert. So one third is how many twelfths? Well, um, I'm sure I'm sure you remember that uh, it's times four. So times four, so one third is four twelfths. And then we do the same with a quarter. One quarter is uh, gonna be three twelfths because you need to multiply both by three. Whoops, okay. And so we've got, uh, instead of a third, we've got four twelfths. Instead of a quarter, we've got three twelfths. Four of those things and three of those things is seven of those things it doesn't simplify so we can give ourselves the mark here we go moving on to question two now uh same idea but this time we've got a subtraction you can't take fourths from thirds they're smaller things so again look for the lowest common multiple of three and four the the lowest common multiple of three and four is uh, still 12. so i'm going to convert exactly as i did for two thirds find out how many twelfths that is and a quarter, find out how many twelfths that is. Well, let's use the rule. Yeah, three times four, so two times four. Two thirds is the same as eight twelfths. And one quarter, here we go, times three, times three, one quarter is the same as three twelfths. Just be careful that it's a subtraction this time. Don't, don't do all the hard work and then uh, fail to notice whether it's addition or subtraction. So two thirds minus a quarter is the same as eight twelfths minus three twelfths. And eight of anything, take away three of it, is five of it. So there we go, five twelfths. Again, no, no simplifying possible, so we get ourselves a mark. Now here's a top tip, even if there is simplifying possible, unless the question specifically asks you to simplify, there is no need, you will still get the mark. Um, even if it could be simplified. So it's just something to bear in mind. All right, that's number two. Okay, let's go on to number three, multiplication. Now, the good news is with fractions, multiplication is arguably easier than addition and subtraction because we don't need to worry about whether the uh, denominators are the same. We're simply multiplying. And the rule for multiplication could not be simpler. You simply multiply the numerators together and you multiply the denominators together. There's very little to remember. So uh, the numerators, two multiplied by four is eight. The denominators, three multiplied by seven is 21. And it really is as simple as that. Again, remember what we said about simplifying. If you can and you're certain, go for it. But actually the safe thing to do is just to write the answer eight. 21 or 8 over 21. That's a simple mark as we'll get. Okay, let's go on to question four. Now question four, um, dividing. You won't get a fraction divided by another fraction. You'll get a fraction divided by a whole number. Now there's two ways to think about dividing. Um, remember 20 is the number of things we have. If the question had said 20 divided by four, you'd have very happily said, oh, well, that's five. Well, it is 20 somethings divided by four. It's 20 thirds divided by four. So 20 thirds divided by four is five thirds. Boom. Now, of course, 
you will probably know that five thirds is equivalent to three thirds and two thirds and three thirds is equivalent to one. So you could write one and two thirds if you want. But again, just like I said, you will get the mark for leaving your answer unless it specifically says otherwise, just like that.